Hi there, welcome back to the Fed Talks. My name is Nathan Hall and we're back with another episode. We're talking to Mandy from Grocery Aid and we've got one of our members, uh, Fiona Malone. Uh, girls, how are you doing this morning, first of all? Yeah, great. Thanks, Nathan. Great to be here. Wonderful. So for a lot of people watching, they won't know yourselves, obviously. So do you want to do a bit of an intro? Mandy, tell me about your role at Grocery Aid and then Fiona about your history in retail. Absolutely. So uh, Mandy Leonard, I'm the Welfare Director at Grocery Aid. I've been with the charity for six years now. Um, and my role is to oversee all of our uh, emotional, practical and financial support programmes that we provide across the whole of the grocery trade. So that's wholesalers, retailers, manufacturers, suppliers and, of course, the independent retail sector as well. Wonderful. And how about yourself, Fiona? OK, so um, I run a post office and convenience shop in Tenby, a very picturesque town in southwest Wales. Um, yes, I do work with my husband 24-7. So, yes, that can be very challenging at times. Um, but we have a great team that we work with and um, we are doing very well. Wonderful. Good to have you both on. So today we're talking all things grocery aid, uh, such such a, a crucial service that retailers have access to, but there's a lack of awareness out there. So we're just going to try and spread a bit of that today and make sure retailers are clued up and know that it's available for them and the staff. So Mandy, do you want to start with just the, the basics, a nutshell of grocery aid? Who are you and what, what do you do? Yeah, absolutely. So grocery aid are a charity. Um, we've been around since 1857, so we've uh, been uh, a trusted partner for the grocery trade for many, many years. We provide um, emotional, practical and financial support for colleagues working across the grocery trade. It's completely free and it's completely confidential. Your employer um, will not find out that you have access support services from Grocery Aid. Um, we run a 24-7 helpline, which is free to call from landlines and mobiles. It's 365 days a year. And we also have a language line facility available on that helpline. So if somebody doesn't use English as their first language, we can set up a three-way call between the call advisor, the client and a translator. And alongside that, we have a website. And on that website, which uh, we'll put a link in the bio, uh, www.groceryaid.org.uk, you can find access to all of our support programmes. So we have online digital wellbeing support, financial wellbeing support. We have a link on there with business deadline for independent retailers to receive advice and support about business finances as well as independent finances. And we run a financial grants programme, which is run by my team based here in Sandhurst, where I am today. Um, so we have a team of caseworkers who deal with financial grant applications from individuals. It's available not only to store owners, not only to independent retailer business owners, but also to their partners, spouses and dependents and to all of the colleagues and their families working in your stores as well. Absolutely. So I've spoken to a lot of retailers in my time in the industry that have used the service. Obviously, it's confidential, but there's lots of retailers that um, you know rave about it and encourage others. Fiona, um, you, you, you've had an experience with it. Do you want to dive into uh, what happened with you? Yeah, sure. So from our point of view, um, we've got 15 members of staff. And to be fair, they are the backbone of our business. Without our staff, then, you know, it would be me and Vince working all the hours um, so we're really appreciative of them. Um, from our point of view, Grocery Aid is really great for us. Um, we live um, in a, quite a deprived area, albeit Tembe is a very um, amazing seaside town. We do have people with some financial difficulties. So what we do is we talk to our members of staff, in particular those ones that are going through issues that we're made aware of. Um, I've sat down with a member of staff last Friday. I gave her the space in the office to actually phone up Grocery Aid and she's found it really useful and helpful. It's great because, you know, we don't need to know. Um, but I think for retailers, it's about making sure you're giving the opportunities for your members of staff. So saying to them, you know, why don't you take 10 minutes now to give Grocery Aid a call? I think that will help encourage people Sometimes people are a little bit reticent in asking for help. Um, and I think it's about giving them the space because at the end of the day, they're our most you know, trusted and valuable resource that we've got. Um, so I think if we can offer this service and we if we can help that person and their families feel better, then actually that's going to be beneficial for them, but also beneficial for us as a business. 
Absolutely, Fiona. Um, you know, it's a fantastic asset to have to yourself as a retailer, staff members, all the, the, your, your families. Um, but it's important that staff members are aware, like like, like you say you, when you mentioned it. Mandy, how can retailers make sure that your staff members of staff are aware of the service and that they can use it? So awareness is one of our biggest challenges. So that's why it's so great to have the opportunity today to come on and speak to so many of your members. Um, we have uh, all sorts of resources that you can have access to to support your colleagues. So the most important thing is, as Fiona did, is to talk about grocery aid. So if you've got a colleague who you know is struggling, then signposting to the helpline or to the website. We have all sorts of tools and resources you can download, including um, an independent retailer pack. And we'll put the link through to this uh, in the bio as well. That You can order or have uh, posters that you can put up in staff areas till stickers, um, signposting to that helpline number and uh, to give some guidance about the support and advice that might be available. Wonderful. I'm absolutely chuffed that we've had the chance to get you on, both of you, to, to make sure that our retailers are aware of this. Um, thank you so much uh, for, for joining once again and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank, thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.